welcome to Aussie Kicks. Before we kick off today's show, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone because the RC Kicks channel has now hit 4,000 subscribers. Now, this might not be a lot to many, but to me, that's fantastic. It's been just over a year since I started the channel, so I'm really chuffed that we've hit this new milestone. Hopefully, over the coming year, I'll be able to expand and do more and more as I put more and more time into the channel. So anyway, thanks very much. Please like and subscribe if you haven't because there's tons of content to come soon. And let's get back to the original program. Hi, and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, we put lights in my TTO2 Porsche 911 RSR. They've just turned up. So this is just a small mod in going on the last video that I did, which I'll post a link up here because I want to start building this this afternoon for the videos coming over the next couple of days. But as this turned up, I wanted to get this in quite nicely because I'm really getting into this Porsche. I really like it. And I want to fit an internal uh, driver, assist, uh, driver cockpit and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, it's really coming along quite nicely now. Also, um, someone said in the comments that the gyro should really be at the front. So I'm also gonna move that to the front of the car to try that, see if that makes any difference. Um, this gyro is definitely better than the last one, so I'm really happy with that. Now, this light kit can do front and rear lights. So I may attempt to put the rear in. Also, someone else commented that you can get these to fit in the back, so I'm gonna attempt that as well. What I'm kind of thinking of is leaving the sticker on and then removing the paint behind the sticker from the inside with Tamiya um, polycarbonate cleaner so that the light shines through here. I'm not sure how that's gonna work out, but that's the only way I can really see that it would look good. Alternatively, would be to cut out this black line, pull out the middle, then clean it all from the inside and then paint it with the um, see-through uh, orange. But I don't think that would look so good because it's such a large area. So I'm gonna try this first and if that doesn't work, then I might progress to try the second way. Right, let's get the body off. Let's plug it all in. Um, I'm seeing that I might have to adapt this because it's got a Tamiya plug on it. And this car now doesn't have a Tamiya plug in it. So that looks like it's gonna need to be modified a little bit. Um, so what do we get? We get the box itself, where you can plug in loads, uh, eight, eight sets of lights. The adapter, which I think I'm going to have to modify or i might just be able to take that off actually take that section off cut it and then solder it into the car yeah that'll probably work better <coughs> then we have the lights itself which are just simple leds uh let's have a look here let's have a look yeah so there we go so you get one front and one rear, so white is the front, and then the red is the rear, which kind of makes sense, and then they just span out and plug in. Um, and then the idea is you just stick them in the hole, and that's it. And then we have some clamps to attach it to the inside of the car, some sticky doodars for the box itself. The box is quite large. It's quite a large box, so most people put it on the roof. Um, I do have a lot of space in the car, but then if I want to take the body off, it's really got to be on the car. I might be able to put it, put it in under the bonnet because when I put the driver section in, I'm going to need as much space as possible. Also, I've got to lose the aerial. So if I have that in here, mm, I'll try and see if I think I can mount it under the eight underneath, which would be quite nice. And then all I've got to do is run two wires to the back and the rest of all is up front. Yes, that's looking more promising. So I'm going to do that. Right. So let's get the body off. And this shouldn't be too difficult a job, really. So let's get that out of the way. So I've already attached the lights that I got. Ooh, already attached the lights that I had from the 934 section that I purchased. So these are really easy. All you basically do 
you take the white lights, stick them in the holes, like so. And then there's these little tiny mount bits that you Sorry, basically... I don't know that one. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and then these are screwed to hold them in place. So I'm gonna need some little screws. Now I didn't get the screws, so I have to get out my trusty, trusty bag of random bits. Right, the lights are in, they're attached, screwed in with the little holding mounts, nice and easy. I measured up this uh, main controller box and it will sit perfectly in there. So the idea is to mount that about there. So that should be reasonably easy to do. And it's better than having it on the roof, I think. For my later projects, I'll need more space. So, let's stick that there. So I think that's perfect. Right, let's see if that fits as it is. So, aerial first, there. There, there we go, no problems at all. Great, like it. Ooh, 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 we're caught on stuff. Okay, so next, I need to really look at these and how these are gonna fit on the back. So, they kinda go there, but you have to trim them. Right, all right. So basically I need to cut this section off by the look of it and that'll make it fit. So, let's try that, shall we? There we go. so it's gonna go in like that yeah that'll work perfectly so yeah back and front and then I'll just put some double-sided sticky tape on this bit and that will hold it like it I'm not sure why they um, tell me I didn't do a, uh, a light binnacle for this car I guess it's just because of its because of its price point I guess but it's good to know that you can use the 934 and at the moment there's a lot of 934 light binnacles floating around so uh, if you're thinking about doing this now's probably a good time to do it and that one goes in there like that okay so i've decided that i'm going to make my own connector because i use dean's connectors on this car i've decided to make basically exactly the same that come with the kit but with dean's connectors it keeps it nice and simple and if I want to move it from one car to another I can. It's a little bit more faff to do, but basically just get a bit of cable, get some Dean's connectors, cut off the section you needed, and then solder it all together. So, I will fit. I'm probably gonna change the electronic speed controller in this car because it has no cutoff for a, a LiPo battery. Plus, I might end up running something a little bit hotter, but I have another, um, another electronic speed controller I can use. So, since I'm gonna be driving this car, I think it would be a good opportunity to maybe make it a little bit hotter so now what I've got to do is I've got to connect up the battery. Right, I'm not going to connect the whole... I'm not going to connect up to the whole car because there's no point. But you'll get the idea. So basically there you go. That's the front. And that's the rear. There you go. So just another little mod as we move forward with the Porsche project. Anyway, that gets that out of the way. So I can now crack on and do the CCO2 build, which will be coming in the next one to two days. 
See you on the next one.